Legal disclaimer. Do not make this trade. Seriously, don't. This video is for educational purposes only and placed by a professional trader from Maverick Trading. Maverick Trading is sponsoring this trading experiment with a $100,000 trading account. To trade for Maverick Trading, you can submit an application for stock, option trader or currency trader from the link in the video description below. On to trade number 76, Flatter Trading Society members. We're getting close to 100. We're showing in this experiment that the biggest conspiracy is not that the entry matters. It is that the exit matters. You know, I probably screwed that up so much. You guys get the point. We're picking random stocks, random methods, uh, basically flipping coins, and then we're showing that you can make money on just position management alone. We haven't done a trade on mining for a while and gold is hitting new all time highs. So I went on and I got some stock footage of probably the worst miner I've ever seen. This is going to take a while and that equipment looks pretty shoddy, but let's do a trade in mining. I've gone out and grabbed all of the ETFs that correspond with a metal. So we've got the GLD, the SLV, we got platinum, palladium. We got a basket of all of them. We've got copper, we've got rare earth, we've got nickel, and we have steel. There's been a couple of ETFs that have been delisted lately, which means we don't have quite as much to choose from. What happens is if they're not popular enough, then they'll just delist them. They'll just take them down. Let's spin the wheel and see what we get. All right. It looks like... The winner is steel. All right, so SLX is the ticker symbol. Let's go take a look at the chart. Here is the SLX, the Vanek Steel ETF. And you can see we're having a nice little breakout to some highs here. We've got some overhead resistance, but we don't care. This is not about our entry. This is about uh, our exit. So we're just going to get in here, very simple. We're going to get in here. The current price is 73.23. And our current ATR, I don't know why the line is not showing, but if we come over here, we can see that the current ATR is 90 cents. So this will be our trade for trade 76. It is April 4th. It's SLX long 73.23. We've got our ATR at 90 cents. So two times the initial ATR stop is going to be at $1.80. $1.80 is going to be our trailing stop. That's going to put us down at $71.43. Let's do position size and then go make the trade. For position size, we've got to go grab our account balance. Account balance right now is $105,527. Let's go put that in position size and calculator. $105,527. Our risk has always been 1% on all the trades. We've been consistent with the risk and with the ATR. Their entry price was 73.23. The stop loss was at 71.43. That's going to be our first trailing stop loss, and then it's going to move up from there. Let's hit calculate, and it's telling us to go long 586 shares. Let's enter in the ticker symbol SLX. Let's hope my dyslexia doesn't get in the way too much today. All right, SLX, we've got buy, we've got buying, how many shares, it was 586 shares. And this is going to have a pretty decent bid ask spread. Again, these, a lot of times these ETFs, remember, ETFs, they don't trade on their own. They trade on their derivative of what the price of steel is. So if they're not traded all that often, which this one isn't all that heavily traded, then um, you do tend to get some wider bid ask spread. So I'm just going to go to the midpoint. We'll start at the midpoint and then we'll try to get a little bit better price than that. Our stop price was going to be $1.80 because 90 cents was the ATR. Let's go ahead and put this order in. And let's see if it gets filled. Yeah, it got filled right away. Got filled at 73.27. That's stop. Ooh, I messed this up. This is where we always double check things. Um, and this is why I saw that we had a problem. Do you see my uh, 
picture right here. This red line is my stop. My stop was at $1.80. I did not put trailing stop. I'm not going to be able to change this to a trailing stop now that it's been set. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go and cancel that order. I need to cancel this order. I'm going to have to re-put in the sell order. So SLX, sell order, and we're going to be using a trailing stop. The trailing stop was going to be $1.80. All right. I have probably made, I don't even know how many trades, 150,000 trades. I don't know. Maybe it's not that high. Maybe it's, but it's, it's crazy. I've made a lot of trades in my life. Um, I still make order entry mistakes. I still make order entry mistakes and it happens. It's just part of the business. It's just part of everything in life. You know, the best professional golfers, they still blow some shots. So it just, you just have to understand this is part of the business. You try to stay calm. Don't get flustered. Don't panic. Just stay calm and rectify the situation and then move on to the next one. Updating our numbers, we end up getting filled at 73.27. That gives us our first target at 75.07, our second one at 76.87. And all we're going to do is what we've done on every single one. And the, since we started with trade number one, we're going to move up our trailing stop as we get more profitable. And we're going to get to closest at one ATR. And then after that, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to be happy with the results. So far, we've been very happy with the results. Take care, everyone.